Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 20-3, Chapter 4, Section 4, Isometric Drawings. Now, the outcome we're going to deal with today, construct a model of a 3D object given the scale. Draw a scale diagram of a given object. Draw a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional object. Draw an isometric dot paper. 3D object, draw the scale, top, front, and side views of a given 3D object, construct a model of a 3D object, give the top, front, and side views, and draw a 3D object given the front, top, and side views. This is what we're going to be talking about today. So, what is an isometric drawing? Now, an isometric drawing is a representation of a 3D object where the same scale is used to draw the height, width, and depth. Lines that are parallel in reality are parallel when you draw it. So, let me give you an example of these in the show. This is an example of an isometric drawing. Isometric drawings are usually done in isometric dot paper. Yes, I'll be providing paper for you. This is uh, just showing you what isometric grid paper looks like. Right. Now, remember what I said? Isometric drawings represent a representation of a 3D object the same scale as used to draw the height, width, and depth. Lines that are parallel in reality are parallel in design. So that means that this line is parallel to this line, is parallel to this line, is parallel to this line, and so on and so on. Now this works really well for like building blocks, Legos, and stuff like that. For others, it kind of sucks. Oh, and notice the dashed line in behind? That means there's a line there you just can't see that's hidden by the object. Okay? And all these lines are parallel. And this one back here is also parallel. And so on. Right? Now, quick look at these drawings. Which of these drawings, which of these drawings are isometric and which are not? Remember what I said about uh, all the lines being parallel? Now, this one here, well, at least it looks like so. Those lines look parallel. And my drawing might be a little squishy, but I think that is all these lines are parallel. And these lines are parallel. So I think this is isometric. Now, here is a complete pain in the bottom. This is just a mess. I wouldn't say we're not, but it's such a mess. It's really not a good drawing. It's not easy to tell it's isometric. Now look at this one. This one. Is this line parallel to this? Parallel to that? No. Is this line parallel to that line? Parallel to that? No. Definitely not. I'm going to emphasize that. It's not isometric. Guys, how can we create isometric drawings? Okay. Example one. Make an isometric drawing of this box using a scale of 1 to 10. Now, this is the isometric paper here with the dots. This is usually used when you when you try and graph paper. So we're using that to create this block here. Now notice the scale of 1 to 10. Now by tradition, each one of these lines is one centimeter apart. So to go with ratio 1 to 10, 30 centimeters, the side length here, times 1 over 10. Let's check the math. Last line will be five centimeters. Now, I want to do the five centimeters because it's in my five centimeters right here. Or 
six things. So let's go down low and choose, I don't know, something in the middle ish, like that. One, two, three, four, five. There's my base. Let's see what I mean. Sorry. Let's do this entire page in a few minutes. Now, the 20 centimeters on this group is going to be this way. Six centimeters. And then it goes up three. Now you see here, I'm going to move this block up further, but whatever. I want to find out all these lines going up at three centimeters. So here going up at three, here going up at six. And across here at five. And it's going to be lined up at one, two, three, four, five. And there's going to be three centimeters going across and three centimeters going across. And there we go. That's our isometric drawing of this box using the scale of one to ten. And yes, I should have put it a little more excited, whatever. Okay. Okay. So let's see how to do this. Let's do this. Because I got an exact one I want you guys to try. This Lego camera. Okay? Now, I'll start with this. I'm going to do the base here six centimeters. So I'll bring over here, something in the middle of it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, there's my base. Now, how far does it go back here? There we go. Well, I can't tell from there, and I can't tell from there, but here, it's saying two centimeters. So each one of these corners will be two centimeters deep. And the next question is, how tall is it? recording here. I want you guys to finish this. Now, there's a bit of a challenge here. Nope. I'm going across. And we've got this round thing in the middle. Okay. So, let's do, I'm going to pause the recording. You guys do the top, come back, and, we'll help, and I'll help you with the round five the second one. Alright? So, let's pause the recording. Get her done. Welcome back. Across, one centimeter up. Now I'm guessing since this is six centimeters across, this is going to be 202, which is a reasonable guess. Down two. This is going up one. Over two. Down one. Now I'm not going to use this gun because it's very good. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to do that. Now you also notice I'm color coding the sides. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing this now because some of you guys have trouble with this. And you like some of y'all do. Now I'm going back, going back, going back. So two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters. Now you can see here the nice part of this is that if you use a ruler. You can get a very nice drawing. Now, this is isometric, you seeing it at an A. So you have to use your imagination and uh, be able to figure out the top side in front of you. Draw the graphic as you do it. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Now, right here, in the middle, there's a circle. So ooh. That looks to be two centimeters. So right in the middle here. And I'm deliberately doing this to show you the weakness of this. Right angles, now left, right, up, down, real easy. So squares, pyramids, sorry, squares and prisms would be easy. A cylinder or something round or a sphere would be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit difficult to do. Now, what I 
last thing. Now, if you're in class, I'm handing out a piece of isographic dot paper, and you guys are drawing something in the classroom. A desk, a table, something symmetrical. I would suggest uh, a table or one of your cycle boxes for my desk, something that's basically a, a prism, a rectangular prism. Okay? Now, if you're at home, I'm going to include a piece of isometric dot paper, and I want you to draw something at home. And, uh, sorry, draw orthograph Q, that is top, side, bottom, and then create an isometric drawing using the isometric dot paper. Which drawing do you think is better and why? You tell me. So, like a chair, would be good. Anyway, I want you guys to work on that, and then you can show me. Because that's who will be handing that in. Any questions so far? Good. Please go, you got this, go work on your classwork to go with this. If you don't, shoot me an email and give you a hand. Good luck.